coverage and tonight we're going to see two candidates face off for a hotly contested congressional seat. Democrat Dr. Kermit Jones and Republican Assembly member Kevin Kiley will debate key topics tonight right here at KCRA 3. You can also hear that debate on CAP Radio. Here to preview the debate is our very own Edie Lambert. She is moderating this evening. Edie, first of all, good morning and uh, we appreciate you waking up early to join us to talk about this important topic. Oh, good morning. I appreciate the opportunity because you know, I think people do wonder how we prepare, who decides what questions are asked, what TV stations and radio stations hope come out of debate. So it's nice to be able to provide some transparency. And that is exactly what we want to cover. So let's start with that preparation because this isn't the first debate for you. So just as a journalist, how do you work to prepare to ask those poignant questions to these candidates? Um, it's a great question, and it's, it's a big range of things that go into it. First of all, we know from polling across the nation that there are certain issues that are that have just risen to the top for voters, which I know, Brandy, you could guess. It's inflation, the cost of everything, worries about the economy right now, Roe versus Wade, and on a national level, what might happen with you know, the abortion debate climate change in this region, uh, fire, wildfire prevention, uh, crime. Um, so we know that all of those are big issues. Also, um, we've asked our viewers to send in questions. This is just one page. I don't know how much you can see. Wow, yeah, we, we can see We put them it. on a spreadsheet. <laughs> wow. Yeah, there's 50, 50 on this one page. Um, and we got some great questions. Mm -hmm. um, also, this is a huge district. And it's an unusual district that runs down the eastern side of the state. And so some of the topics that I just mentioned, you could ask in literally any congressional debate across the nation. But there are some issues specific to this district that we also want to touch on. For instance, um, it encompasses Roseville, Rockland, Granite Bay, these urban areas, but also some incredibly rural areas where broadband access is a big issue, healthcare access. Um, some of these folks have to drive an hour to get to a health clinic. So um, we're, we also want to make sure that we've asked questions in this debate that are very specific for the voters of this district. Sure, and this is a new district too. What should voters be listening for? What should they really, in your opinion, be really tuned in to, to hear from these candidates? I think it's very normal in any campaign, and this campaign has had you know millions of dollars on both sides spent, where candidates are trying to do two things. They want to define their own positions for the voters. They also want to define their opponent. And so one of our goals with this is that both sides have said they've been misrepresented by their opponent. So giving each candidate a chance to really set the record straight to tell people in their own words exactly where they stand. And so I, I would hope that voters would watch for that. One thing that we've seen in this election and many others in these campaigns is the attempt by one side to say, because you're supported by this group and they think X, Y, and Z, the candidate thinks X, mm -hmm, Y, and Z. Yeah. And that's a stretch. Um, so, and it's happened on both sides. So we really want to make sure that each candidate um, has a chance in their own words to define their own position. I think that's probably going to be the most valuable thing we can do tonight. Well, Edie, again, always a pleasure to talk to you and to see you. We were laughing a little bit. I think it's been a year since we've seen each other in person <laughs> since I moved to the shift. So we've got to, after the debate, maybe we'll plan to, uh, to get together and have a girl's lunch or something. Thanks so much. I miss you. <laughs> Thank you so much.